Now, one of the things that you do um, is uh, card readings, but they're not typical of what people might expect of a card reading. You know, when you say that you, card reading, everybody thinks tarot cards. What, 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 do, what are the readings that you do? I do uh, creative living oracles. I use mm. different oracle decks that can represent um, different facets of uh, symbolism, like chakras or uh, visions, mm. like uh, or uh, I think it, what's the other one I have? I have the Oracle of Visions, which is a lot of different symbols put together mm. into one card or a series of cards. And the way that I read them is symbolically. Like I'm not out to tell your future. I don't know any card readers that really are but as an oracle I'm an advice giver mm. uh, so I flip out cards and I basically tell you what the symbols mean to kind of spark your creativity to solve your own problems um, mm. it's a way to for me when I even flip out a card for myself it's just a way to focus on that aspect for that day and possibly get an answer to something I need huh. Um, to guide my creativity, to be inspired. Like we, I, you know, you can go out and you can walk in the world, but if you also look at beautiful pictures on cards, that can inspire some art or some creativity to happen in you. I, I might do well with having uh, some some uh, advice uh, and guidance from from an oracle. I mean, I'll try anything once. Are you? Do you would you be able to give me a little read uh, yeah. right now? Really? This Absolutely. is great. Absolutely. And those are beautiful cards, by Thank the way. Thank you. Okay, Thank so this you. is going to be, you're going to tell me what my oracle is, I guess, for, for today anyway. This is the Oracle of Visions. Okay. This is for you to, like I said, be inspired. And you know, I did just order a new pair of glasses. There you go. So this is all coming together. <laughs> you knew that, though, didn't you? I did. Uh huh. This is very good. This is very exciting. Okay. So, I'm going to need you to shuffle them any way you want. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of like, always like, uh, you know, Vegas style. <laughs> Uh, you know, kind of like, eh, like a croupier. Is this all right? Very good. Let me give it one little, all right. And I'm, am I putting my energy into this? Should it... Putting your vibe into it, all yeah. Right. I put my vibe into everything I do, Lori. <laughs> all right. Shuffled. All right. Oh, she's very pretty. Yes. Or is that me? Oh. So here's what it is. Um, if you look at all these symbols, there's chess going on, there's a butterfly, there are, and the butterflies are free. Uh -huh. So what this card actually is saying first to me is it is all about strategy and planning. Mm. Strategy in a sense that, you know, you've got a chess game in front of you and you've got to figure out the right answer. At the same time, in order to find that answer, you need to let, butterflies are all about transformation. Mm. They're all about, you know, changing. So in order to solve this answer, you need a transformation. You need like an interchange. You need to see something. Be clued into, you know, looking into yourself and saying, oh, wait, if I fix this, I'll win the game. Huh. I'm perplexed by the inclusion of the kitten. Um, is, is there any meaning in, in that? Cats, uh, basically, cats, uh, cats are mystical creatures. Uh, they, for me, symbolically, they mean mysticism and they mean mystery. So with the cat placed next to the, the woman in the picture is solving a mystery. It's another symbol to back up the idea that you are trying to solve a puzzle mm. by looking for a piece. But you won't find that piece until you let something go or until you discover something new or transform something about yourself. You're good. So Thanks. what do I need to do to get a body like that? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't got one. <laughs> She, she's very free with herself. Her. <laughs> but no, that, that was some great insight and some great advice. So you, you do give these readings on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, is that right? you can schedule them with me anytime. Um, I have an open schedule. I can host them at my house. I am out at like some festivals and some fairs. Sometimes I'm at the Blue Moon Bar on Butler Street. I'll be there flipping out cards. All right. um, Blue Moon's a good time. I love that place. <laughs> I go to open stages there all the time. Honestly, those people are awesome to the Mad Muse. They're the best. A lot of fans there. Good yeah. deal. Well, uh, and we'll uh, attach some information as far as where we can get in touch with you uh, and schedule some uh, oracle readings and get a little guidance in this this time of turmoil oh, in yeah. the world today. We we really need some light and some guidance. I right. think this can come in handy for a lot of us.